Hello, hello, and welcome. This is the Ziad Guy from the Ziad Guides, and I'm here with an ease of execution tier list for this new episode of Skugs. We're doing things a little different. I don't have like a script recorded. Uh, I'm going a little off the cuff, you know. So bear with me if there's a little nagling, you know, a little a little trouble here and there. But I figured um, this is something people ask a lot of like who's easy in this game who's hard this game kind of has the stigma of being difficult uh, primarily you know it's a team game um people see long combos and think they're hard but they're, I, there's stuff that's still easy and hard about this game like there's stuff that's easy and hard about street fighter or guilty gear or whatever game you know so i figured you know let's put it to the test I have it set from low execution to high execution and easy game plan to hard game plan. So execution, you know, it's mostly just based on how hard the combos are, how hard you're typically do, like the typical stuff you're doing on the character is. Game plan, it's more like what is a character's path to victory and how easy is it to accomplish? And we'll go over that, like, win conditions and such as we move along the tier list. It's not really a tier list. That's why I did it like this is because there's not really, like, I, I, I don't want, there, there's not really an order to this. Some stuff that's hard for some people won't be hard for other people. For this list, I asked for help from Eye Control and a few other players, but primarily Eye Control really helped me a lot with this. So shout outs to him, you know, shout out to Oddberry. But let's get this started. Oh yeah, final note actually, before we start, is that this is from the perspective of an, someone who's new to SG, picking up a character and wanting to be good enough to, let's say like enter Mix Masters or some online tournament and still be competitive. You know, not necessarily win it all, but you're going from beginner of SG to I want to play this game, like seriously, quote unquote. And with that being said, the easiest character in my mind, bar none, is Annie. She goes down here. So this character is really, really simple. I can tell you from experience, I play this, I main this character, and um, she doesn't really have anything that's too, too hard. You can basically learn one bread and butter and it's easy. You can learn like two mix-ups and it's easy. There's nothing too crazy outside of like install, but you don't even need install. Not that many people go install. Like it's really like surprising how many good Annie players play the character and don't really utilize that side of the character because she doesn't even need it. It's just like the icing on top, you know? Uh, really good, like really easy, straightforward DHC, straightforward neutral. Uh, she just, you just like press mid-range buttons and you like instant air dash at people. That's pretty much it, you know? And right next to Annie, we got to put Big Band. So I've actually been playing Big Band recently and without learning a bread and butter or anything, it's pretty easy to be honest. Like he has good defense. So like you just mash a ton and like... Uh, he has like DP, he has parry, he has SSJ, so you, you never have to be like super scared on defense. Sure, you're, you're like committing, but I think it's easier to RPS on like your mash than it is to play like a character that doesn't have good defense and you have to actually like block it out or pick your spots. Like when you play band, not only like you, you, you do still have to like pick your spots, quote unquote, but your opponent also has to pick their spots. Like if you push block, and then they still decide to like mix you up after the push block, they have to read that because they know that you have like 87 different ways to mash. Crazy, crazy, really, really easy. And then from what I hear from band players, cause again, I, I've been playing band for like a month. I still have not learned a single combo, but from what I hear from band players, it's not too hard. And even like optimal clarinet loops aren't the worst. And again, you don't even need them. You really don't need this stuff to play band. You just need like button, button, brass, SSJ, and you do have their life, so. After that, it might be a controversial pick, but I play this character, so I think that Squiggly belongs right here in the baby easy tier. I don't know why people have this stigma that she's hard when really like she's not. Like I played in tournaments for a long time going like one and two or two and two without knowing like charge 
uh, or uncharged stancil combos. So you really like the stancils are pretty easy too. People are like, oh, it's stanceling. St stance cancels are so hard. I'm like, bro, you just press a quarter circle. This game is all quarter circles. And then like all you do is you press a quarter circle and then two buttons instead of one. Oh, so technical. And if you didn't know, she actually has like a, a macro. She has a macro with two punch buttons if you, or two kicks depending on like what stance. But on hit, you don't even have to press the quarter circle. You can just press two buttons and she'll stancel for you for free. Really, really easy. Uh, really easy game plan too. She, you know, you just press JLK, you press her buttons basically like JLK, JHK, um, 2MK on the ground, 2LK on the ground if you want a low profile stuff. Like, I, I, like it's very clear what you're supposed to do on Squiggly. If they like run at you from full screen, you sing SBO them to unblockable them, you know. Really, really easy. If you're one of those people that's like, Squiggly is so hard, I'm scared to pick her up. Like, don't even sweat it, bro. She's so simple. I thought she was hard too. And then I learned her BNB in a night and I've never, I, I've never had to learn a new one. It's been the same bread and butter and it works and it's good. So yeah, baby easy character would recommend picking up. All right, up next, but in a slightly higher tier is Eliza. So this is another character that is pretty easy. She is an air dash character, but her air dash is slower and there's button dashing in this game. So it's not even like that hard. Uh, she just doesn't really do that much. The, the things that are like quote unquote hard are like some of her resets are kind of finicky on smaller characters. I hear her corner routing can be difficult, but like you don't have to do the optimal. Again, we're looking at this on like how, what's the baseline to get into tournament. You don't need to, like obviously like characters can all be like high execution if you really know like the optimals, but like baseline for her to play tournament, it's not too bad. You just press sweep, you press H cot, you air dash, press HP. It's not, it's not too bad. Air throw, yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty easy, she's pretty easy. A little complicated when it comes into the corner, but still not not too terrible. Sec and Sekhmet, Sekhmet is so simple. It's really simple. You just like try to high-low your opponent and make them guess wrong, and you have backdash cancels if you don't commit. So yeah, it's not it's not it's not too hard. All right, so up next we got double. Now this character, originally I wanted to put her as the easiest character in the game, but I Control was talking about how there's just like a bunch of difficult stuff that you do have to learn to play her in tournament. So, uh, so while she has like a pretty easy and simple game plan, you know, she, uh, she's just low throw. She doesn't have like anything too like degenerate I guess like Annie has like JHP she has install she has neutral skips uh, with with meter she has like a lot of really good stuff that's easy and straightforward to use whereas like double I mean she has like cat heads cat heads is kind of hard because if I, if I remember correctly it's like negative edged stuff like it's like when you release the button the cat heads do stuff which is why doubles will just like mash throw over and over again uh, but even cat heads is pretty easy to use you know you just see if they push block and if they push block you just cross them up uh, on like the push block timing her combos are pretty straightforward and linear, but they do have some tendency to drop. That's why I'm like hesitant to put her all the way at the bottom. She has like some hard execution stuff, but it's not like too crazy. And it's definitely, it goes with the baby easy characters here. All right, up next, we've got a character that'll deviate a little bit from this pattern. And we have Umbi, who I think goes right about here. So, if this was Umbi on release, I might put her like somewhere around here. But the Umbi players have done a really, really good job of simplifying her game plan. So, what does Umbi do? She tries to get into Ravenous as quick as possible, and then she just presses her broken buttons and is just like plus. So, you know, JMP, she mashes. Uh, 2 LP if they're close because it's a 4 frame button, 2 MP which is God Sniper low, you know, she has full screen slide that's plus on block, 
just a pretty like, uh, legit a gorilla and then if she ever has trouble in neutral she can or trouble like getting into rav she can just do retina reflector and it covers the screen and protects her and then she gets into rav for free anyway like the dummy players congrats to them they've done a really really good job of streamlining this character and making her um making her a lot easier to play like really nope and odd berry are put in so much work on this character like Good, good shit to them this character she does not deserve nerfs by the way i hear people say like nerf umbi i don't know i don't know why bro if you want umbi nerfed just play a zoner that's all i have to say yeah i yeah nerf umbi as she puts out her level one and then i put out peacock level one and it eats it and then it's meter for meter and i'm peacock so yeah yeah that's yeah that's all i gotta say up next we have parasol who goes over here so uh, similar to Umbi, she has like a pretty simple game plan. So while she has like Guile style inputs, she definitely plays more like Ryu, if that makes any sense. So what do I mean? I mean, like she just plays the mid range. She throws her fireball. If it hits, she has the easiest hit confirm into super because she does like, she throws tier, blows up tears, calls the sniper, her boy shoots him. And then she does dash, 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 and then picks up the combo. The thing that's like hard about her is like button dash stuff. She's like kind of technical in some spots, but she also she doesn't have like air movement. Same same both both these sisters don't have like like an extra air option, so that like kind of makes them simpler. It's just like on the ground that's kind of hard. And you're playing footsies in Skullgirls, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's like kind of hard. But still pretty simple character in terms of like charge inputs i guess because some people think those are hard those are baby easy like in terms of like actual competitive viability they are the easy inputs so you know yeah overall just a simple character nothing too much to say about her her combos are pretty simple too they're not they're not too bad I, i've tried them they're, they're not the worst okay and para is actually the only character in this quadrant of the tier list because up next we have Ukwa, who goes right here um, and she, from my understanding, has some executional barriers. She has the negative edge. That's hard. Um, she does have a double jump. Her combos are like, they're not inconsistent per se, but they're definitely like, if you want to get like real damage on Fukua, cause yeah, you can just do like button, button, string type combo, but that doesn't do damage. But if you want real damage, you have to set shadow and then do like that style of routing. And even then it doesn't do that much damage, which is why she's like definitely in the harder end of the game plan. Cause like her game plan, it's like solid, I guess. She just like double jumps and plays lame and throws fireball and then like mixes you to death. But does she do it as well as like P or like robo even like not really to be honest like her mix-up is really good don't get me wrong but for the damage you're getting out of it it's just like it's not ideal it's not ideal if there are any fukua masters in the comments please chime off i meant to ask a fukua player about how hard she was but i just like never got around to it so yeah if you're if you're out there like i don't know if like if mario's in the comments or you know, maybe KJ's stream snipe in my videos. Uh, go ahead and, and let me know, actually, because I definitely want to know. And then up next, we have Robo Fortune. Let's move this over a little bit. So Robo is a very interesting case. I control and I talked about this a lot. Like originally, we kind of put her here, but moved her over here. She's kind of like this freeform character, I guess. Like uh, she's really well designed. Um, She's definitely a character that like grows with you as a player. So when I fight Robos, because the Robo P matchup, in my opinion, is pure 50-50. Really, really interesting, really fun matchup. And I can always tell how good the Robo player I'm fighting against is and what style of play they're going for. So some Robos will, most Robos a lot of the time, a lot of the good, quote unquote like good Robos, they play pretty aggressively. They try to find an opening. They zone basically to clear the screen of my bullshit and then run in at me. And then there's PME who will literally outzone me. He's pretty much the only Robo who will outzone me without having a neutral assist. Like I can get outzoned by like, you know, Cat Pie, but he's playing brass behind him sometimes, so. But 
PME is just playing like n pretty much no neutral assist. He's playing. He was playing like any DP, and uh, he still he was just smoking me. I was like, damn, that's kind of crazy. So yeah, I think this character has like the the difficulty of her is just what like what you want to do with her as a player, and the fact that she has double jump cancels combos in this game, like get like dead ass like guilty gear freaking dragon ball type beat combos where you have to double jump in the middle of it and it's kind of weird in the Skullgirl system so there's that uh, she also has install which you kind of do need to know because if robos alone she doesn't really have that much threat outside of it like it is really really hard for robo to make comebacks without install kind of like i mean yeah she has obviously she has like level three and level five but install really does help out a lot so yeah, that's why she's over here. Up next, we have Valentine. Let's, let's clean this up a little bit. There we go. So Val, again, I uh, again, I was talking to Eye Control about this. So Val, her big issues is like her combo game is inconsistent, like truly inconsistent. And her game plan of playing lame and whiff punishing is pretty hard in this game because right like this game has cancels on whiff you can cancel buttons into special moves so yeah annie just whiffed stand medium punch but she can special cancel that into dp or super on reaction to you like jumping at her or running at her trying to throw you so it, it's it not to say that it can't be done and it's not rewarding because when like obviously when val works and when she's on a strong team she's freaking strong but it's still you can't deny how hard it is to actually execute the game plan on her so that's that's why she's over here and we'll actually go up from val one and we'll talk about Aphilia over here so Philia is kind of hard and i've actually played her so i i know from experience so take the things i said about val of with punishing and amplify that to like 20 gajillion right so philia literally at like high level is not a rushdown character per se she is but she's more of like a wait for your opponent to mess up type beat like like, watch old race footage when he was Wing Zero and playing solo Philia. He just has to, like, wait. He has to wait for them to mess up. And then once they whiff a button, he, like, runs up and, and, and cooks them. And it's really good when it works, but it's really hard to pull off, especially when you don't have good assists backing you. Like, if you're not playing Brass, you can't... Or Beam, you can't quite be as, like, belligerent as you might think you can be on Philia. I, like, truly learned this from experience. I picked her up to try to BP, um, but it, it was really hard. Like, I, I really had to play around, like, what Peacock was doing and not vice versa. And that's not the way I like to play, so I kind of dropped her pretty quick. But, yeah, she, she's definitely difficult. And in terms of execution, her combos are... They're not like super hard, but you have to be fast. You cannot you cannot be slow on this character. It's like a Guilty Gear combo. You gotta like buffer your inputs like one right after the other after the other. Otherwise, it, it, it's gonna drop. It's always gonna drop. So yeah, you, you gotta have fast hands to play her. So yeah, that's why she's over here. Not not arthritis breaking hands, by the way, but you know, just you gotta, you gotta be willing to press. You gotta be like typing like 80 words a minute. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be writing a paper. So yeah, that's why Philly is over here. Up next, we have, uh, I, you know, I wish I could meme and put this character here, but I gotta be honest, we put Bayo over here. So I thought he was gonna end up here, but uh, according to eye control, his combos are actually pretty difficult, and you have to learn multiple sets of combos, right? That's the same thing with double. I didn't, I didn't mention this, so I'll mention this now, but double, you have to learn two combo sets, and Bayo also has to learn two sets of combos. He has to learn chair on and chairless on top of if you want like corner damage then you have to learn corner routing as well so he has that in terms of, that already makes him difficult he also has stuff that's like he cancels into chair and uses it as a roman cancel which isn't hard in and of itself but it takes like positioning in terms of game plan too he has to play around the chair so this is something that's kind of difficult 
so especially into certain comps so if he's like playing against p like if he's playing against philia he doesn't have to worry like super much yeah, she can like camp the chair or whatever but philia has to play in Bayo's range but if he's playing against like p or robo or something where they can zone him away from the chair and he can't build hype full screen to do ex chair call because ex chair call costs all of his hype he needs full hype to do it then he's not going to have a good time he needs chair for for a lot of stuff he needs chair to dp it's a resource it's legit a resource and playing around chair is a really important part of the matchup so yeah, that's why I think he's hard, even though I genuinely think he's brain dead. And once he gets in, it does not matter. It's like a, ba a toddler can do his mix up, but it's fine. Like I, I did his mix up for a video. It took two tries. It's like, I, I, I it's fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The Bayo hate came out for a second. Ziad is back. Ziad's back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. So up next, we have something that actually surprised me, which is Sarah Bella. So apparently, according to the Bella mains, because I talked to cart and i talked to eye control and this character is genuinely hard so why is she hard first of all she is the most traditional grappler in this game i would say so she has to play up close while she can do stuff from full screen it's kind of a commitment so like yeah she can flick back stuff but if you've ever played like p into bella you know that it's like scary for the Bella. The only thing that's like really easy to deal with and reflect on reaction is H George from full screen. But like if I throw L George and then I have like an item drop on you, it's like, what are you gonna, like when are you going to try to flick? Are you gonna try to flick the item drop? Are you gonna flick the L George? Cause if you don't flick the item drop, then I'm going to drop the item. I'm gonna like level it up and then drop it right before L George drops. And then you, you're jailed into L George. And it's like, it's like, it's a whole thing. And, and if you do it too early, then you're like liable to get punished. Like, so that part's hard. And then she has to get in and she has the tools. Like she has all the tools to do it, which is why like she's, she's more closer to this side than let's say like the other side. She has all the tools to get in, except that it, it's still like she she has to play other people's game. When she gets in, it's good. She's got good mix-up, of course. Like she's got two MP overhead and like low throw goddess. But getting to that point, it can be rough. It can be rough. And in terms of execution, her combos are apparently really wonky, and you have to delay based on character weights. There's just like a bunch of specific, like a bunch of unique niche cases depending on like what character you're fighting and what you have to think about. Other characters have to deal with this too, but uh, most of them to a lesser extent. Like I'm, t I do. Like there's like one weight question I ask when I play Annie, and then like there's no, I like I literally don't even think about it when I play Squiggly. So, so yeah, that's why she's up here. Hard game plan, um, kind of difficult combos and resets but she has everything to do it, so it's fine. So now, up next, we have, oh, oh, Miss Fortune, wow. So this character, she is high execution-ish, but she is like, it's like, what's necessary? This is why it was hard, it's like kind of hard to grade her. Cause yeah, Headless is kind of hard. Like Negative Edge is pretty hard, but it's not like a, like it's a puppet, but it's not like a, like a puppet puppet. Like it's not like Zato type beat. So it's easier than that. And on top of that, you don't even really need Headless. Fuzzy got freaking top eight at Combo Breaker and he never used Headless, basically. So you really don't need to worry about it that much. If you do, she's like, obviously she goes up a bit, but for baseline tournament play, you can really get by by pressing jab and then going high or low and then repeating the situation over and over again. Like, it's not that bad. And then like the teams that can't, like we're not including teams, but the teams that enable her, it's like like high, low into, into one more mix up into you're dead. It's like crazy, crazy. But yeah, it's the same thing with Annie. Like, Annie doesn't need install to succeed. She doesn't need headless to succeed. And if you're playing headless, I think the execution goes up, but the game plan might be easier. I don't know. That's that's why it's hard. That's why it's hard. That's why I'm down to put her here, where she has, like, you, like decent execution. She's pretty fast, but you don't have to be, like, super fast with your button presses. Uh, and you don't really need to think about that much. And you can, like, passively, like, approach. Like, like watch Komodo. He just, like, dash blocks everything. 
he like dash blocks calls assist over and over and then the second you block brass he's just like mixing you to death and yeah so so yeah yeah i hate this cat girl this cat girl sucks but she's kind of hard so i'll give it to her so up next we have what is probably the hardest character in the game pain wheel i'll give it to her the pain wheel the complain wheel players they they freaking win this time they've done it again this character is difficult she has pretty difficult combos and she has to deal let's start let's start with execution she has to deal with stuff that other characters don't really have to deal with like at least more consistently like if she hits max range 2lk she gets nothing she gets like button button freaking arm or whatever and that's it Bewer? Bewer? hold on yeah Bewer. so yeah she gets like button button Bewer, and that's it uh, she has fly and unfly combos to deal with, so that's kind of hard. Even though it's quarter circles, it's still like you're pressing a lot. You're doing a lot of inputs to do her combos and do her resets. She's like, her air super is supposed to lead into combos typically, but it doesn't always. Like, she's just like really finicky and inconsistent, and she's really committal. Like, she has to know when to armor stuff in neutral. Her game plan, yeah, because her, her game plan's hard too. She has to armor stuff in neutral. She has to know how to fly around stuff. Like, if you've ever seen a pain wheel play against any DP, they are terrified the entire time. They're just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, bro. Like, they're just tr trying their hardest to bait the DP, and I just laugh and I call item drop because... <laughs> Pain wheel players, bro. I, I I hate pain wheel players. But yeah, she's 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 hard. She's genuinely difficult. She's probably like the only character. Her and Fukua, I would say, are the only two characters I would not recommend people picking up to play the game. Just because they're difficult and then their reward isn't even that high. Like think about like what other characters do. Like Bayo high low set can high low set play you to death and you can't mash on it. Philia, you're in a constant four-way. Sarabella does extremely high damage, and once she gets in, it's pretty simple what she does to you. So, like, yeah. Like, compare that to Pain Wheel, where you have to learn all of this technical stuff, and then, like, what? You're a worse Philia in terms of mix-up, and, the, like, your meter build's terrible. Like, I, I don't know. There's just so much that's just bad about this character that makes her artificially difficult. Like, I don't even think... Like, I think if her, if they, like, like made her combos consistent, she'd probably be, like, here. Where her game plan is still kind of hard, but at least, like, her combos are pretty easy. But, like, her having just, like, terrible combo game and terrible, like, everything, it just, it does not add to an easy character or a very fun character to play. Literally all the Pain Wheel players are suffering constantly delete this character uh, for their sanity and for mine. Thank you very much. And finally, we have Peacock, who you can definitely, like, these two I think are kind of interchangeable, in a sense. I just give the, the leg up to Pain Wheel, because at least Peacock's combos are pretty consistent. We'll take those. But other than that, um, so Peacock has to rely a lot on negative edge. I was the beginner that, like, started this game. At the, at the point when I started this game, the only other fighting game I had played really was Strive. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Strive and, like, a little bit of Exert, and then I picked up this game. And this game, Peacock was super weird, and I almost dropped her. Like, I almost, I was like, bro, why don't I just play MF? This character seems baby easy. I just press jab, and then I high-low him. But I suck with it, and... Like, first off, right off the bat, zoning, harder than rushing down. Infinitely harder than rushing down. I I'll say, for as experience, like, I play Jam in Exard, and I can safely say that playing P is, like, you really have to be cognizant of how your opponent moves at you, because they're not really thinking about it all the time. They're just going to run at you. And you have to be the stop sign saying, no, you can't run at me. You have to, like, control space, etc. Like, all the stuff zoning, zoning characters do. You know, you have to anti-air well. Uh, hers isn't like Annie, where she just mashes 2 LP. Hers is, like, actually, like, you have one chance. You got one shot, and if you whiff, you die, usually. So, um, and in terms of, like, combo stuff, her combo structure is kind of hard. So, if you've ever played her, you know she has, like, the air dash cancel light punch string. That's not necessarily difficult. 
but it's something that you have to like get and once you get it it's like I, I, it's not even free to be honest p players usually don't drop it because we've been playing this character so this character is one of a kind bro so i play this i love playing this character so but it's still difficult and i yeah i still mess it up sometimes i've seen nope mess it up sometimes uh i don't really see trip mess it up or or tj mess it up ever but it's definitely it's definitely a droppable part of the combo there's like tons of parts like i still drop the ender of p's combo where i like land and pick up with like a jab on the ground like that's how i do the combo and i and that's like weight specific so that's kind of hard uh, picking up off of item drop full screen after Argus is kind of difficult. Picking up off of Lenny with 5 HP OTG list is also kind of difficult because it's weight specific. You have to just like manually tie it. I uh, time it. I just YOLO and I just like do it, but I'll miss it a lot. Uh, Lenny combos, especially, they can be like if you're mid screen, then you do 5 HP teleport, but if you're in the corner, like or even like remotely close to the corner you don't have that option you have to do something else whether that's like item drop shenanigans or doing like sweep l george like yeah there's just like a lot to this character that's that's really the crux of it there's a lot to worry about in neutral and there's a lot to worry about in terms of execution and like that's what makes her she's a very open-ended character though so like learning her is cool because you really get to like develop your own style of p oh right actually i forgot okay uh pretend this umbi is dahlia she goes like right here so dahlia the reason that dahlia is down here is her execution isn't too bad like she's pretty simple she doesn't have anything too too hard her assault is like a button macro so it's pretty easy to do her combos aren't too difficult her burst baits aren't difficult her mix-up's easy because she just has like she raw just has a standing overhead and she has set play and set play i would say is easier to do than resets you it's much more like of a controlled environment you lit i literally just watched triv knock people down then call squiggly low assist and jump over them and it hits them every single time crazy 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 the thing that puts her above other characters like annie squiggly and band is just the fact that she does have to play with other bullets and you have to know what other bullets do also the fact that her block strings aren't the best i see people okay i'm gonna need people to stop blocking the overhead and then pushing her away because unless she has ice shot or shotgun she's minus at the end of all of her strings so i'm going to need people to block the overhead and then be like okay time to punish or take my turn please like gunshots like minus four bro like bros you gotta do something about it please 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 uh but yeah other than that not too difficult she uh, she's a zoner but i i feel like her zoning's pretty straightforward and her like rush down's pretty straightforward too so yeah, just a, just a pretty simple character. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not not too hard. But so yeah, that just about does it. Thank you very much for coming to my Ziad Guides Ease of Execution tier list. I really hope you guys took something from this, learned a little something, and uh, maybe this encourages you to pick up a character you never would have, you know? Maybe, maybe this helps. Maybe we can get a couple more squiggly mains out there. Please, this character is so much fun. I don't want to be the only one having fun. But yeah, thank you once again for watching. Uh, I plan on uploading a video hopefully soonish, maybe. You know me and my upload schedule. I'm a little, I'm a little bit of a wacko jacko. But hopefully, I, I'll have another video out before November if I'm lucky, or mid-November maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, have a wonderful day and play some goddamn Skullgirls.